The woman is down more than $1,700 with a mess in her backyard after paying a handyman company she thought she could trust to put a privacy fence in. Holes in the ground, fence posts toppled over, and dirt strewn everywhere. It was supposed to be something like so beautiful, like so exciting, and now it's like I have more to deal with on top of everything else. This wasn't how Hopewell resident Natalie Murphy pictured her first few days as a first time homeowner. I was super stoked, super excited, definitely a milestone in my life. She wanted a privacy fence, paying a deposit in several parts for the installation to Roger Haggerty over Cash App. Jack's handyman service was the company, and Jack Collins asked her to pay Haggerty more than $1,700 at the end of November. He was a small Small business and I completely support small businesses. So I was like, yeah, like, let's, you know, everyone has to put food on the table. Murphy says Collins and a buddy came to put these posts up, but didn't secure them. So days later, the wind knocked them over. Collins never came back. Murphy couldn't believe it. I really didn't even know. Like, I still haven't heard from him. And the last text message was last Friday. After not hearing from them, her mom called Collins assistant who told them Collins had hightailed it to Florida. My mom, you know, handled that for me and was asking all these questions like what is going on here? We tried calling Haggerty and Collins too with no luck. At the tone, please record your message. The Department of Professional and Occupational Regulation got back to us confirming Haggerty, Collins, and Jack's handyman services haven't been licensed since the early 2000s. For now, Murphy says she's learned her lesson and has someone else coming soon to clean this mess up. You just got to be careful. Now, it's important to note a license is required if a contractor like Collins is doing jobs above $1,000. So, Sabrina, she just said she learned her lesson. So, what do homeowners need to know if they're looking to get some work done at home and not get taken advantage of? Well, Deanna, make sure you get everything in writing and don't pay cash. The Better Business Bureau also says get multiple quotes, and if you write a check, make it out directly to the company. We've got some of those tips in this story at WRIC.com.